Greetings, my subscribers. As well, my newly subscribers, thank you all for coming. Now, for today, I'm going to demonstrate to you how I prepare my delicious curry chicken back with a white rice. Now, guys, this demonstration is worthwhile watching. I don't want to miss it, so stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Thanks for tuning in a bowl. I have some chicken back. I'm not sure if everybody is familiar with it, but yes, this is the Friday evening settings. Some chicken back, so I'm gonna curry the chicken back. All right, now my chicken back was already um, cleaned up, cut up, and washed in lime juice and vinegar. However, I have some seasons here, and I have ginger cast body pepper and garlic and these are the few seasons I'm gonna use for now all right so just gonna sprinkle them in here like so and it's approximately six cloves of garlic that I have in here next I'm gonna add some magyar pepper season now I'm adding a, a I'm adding the magyar pepper season as come the amount of meat that is within the container here. Right? Next, I'm gonna add some curry. Now, if you know overcook guys, I normally like to use like a curry to pre-season the meat, right? And burn the rest. That's just my method, you know what I mean? Everyone cooks differently, but this is just my method. Mm-hmm. So after adding all the seasoning, I'm gonna go in now with my hands and just rub up everything. Just ensure that everything is rubbed up as cardinally. You know guys, you see, let me tell you something. Now this chicken back I'm using, it is the best dressed chicken back. It is not the, you know, the bony bony kind. You know what I mean? So this one has a little flesh on it. Mmm. All right, you know, it, it takes time to really ensure that the meat is properly seasoned. You know what I mean? You have to make sure you go in and with your hands and just turn over and rub it and rub it and just ensure say, all the meat in here is coated with the seasonings. You understand? Mm -hmm. Alright, so this should be about it. Let me just taste it. I need a little more magyar per season. So I'm just gonna add a little more to it. Just a little more. As we said, guys, I like the taste what I'm preparing, you know what I mean? That's just me. No, you don't have to taste yours in the book. I like to taste mine. Why? Because I want to make sure it's properly seasoned and it has a good taste. You know what I mean? Because what if you're saying you're judging it? Right? And when you're judging it, you're judging it wrongfully. And when you check and stop, you know, the, 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 the meat or whatever you prepare is not seasoned to your taste. You know what I mean? And I'm saying, that's just me. You know, I like to taste it. I want to know. 
is properly quoted. You feel me? I must say that is just my message still. Yeah, that's just my message. All right. This is okay. So what I'm gonna do now is to cover it and rest down the fridge and allow it to marinate for the next two hours. So let's keep on shooting. All right, so I'm gonna now pour some curry within the Dutch pot here. I already put some oil in it because I want to get the oil hot. Then pour some curry in and burn it. As I said before, this is just my method, you know what I mean? Season my meat with a little curry and burn the rest. Right, so I'm gonna allow the curry to burn for either few, few seconds, you know what I mean? Because I don't want it to get too dark, you know what I mean? Right. Then I'm gonna arm go ahead now and put it in the I'm going to give it a stir, you know what I mean? Why? Remember that the curry was burning before. So I'm going to ensure the, the meat that I put in the pot here, everything mixed with the burnt curry, right? So that's why I'm giving it a stir now, right? Then I'm going to cover the pot and allow it to spring its own water for now. But then I'm gonna rinse out the same container, season the meat in, and then pour it in there. So I'm gonna cover the pot now, just to allow it to spring its own water. Then I'm gonna pour some water in it. So let's keep on showing. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, try the evening settings. You feel me? Some curry chicken back with a plain rice. Yeah, man. So let's keep on showing. Are you see? Wow, go on that kitchen, right? All right, so um, let me just check to see what's going on here in the pot. All right, so as you can see, we did allow it to spring its own water, all right? So I'm just gonna give it a stir like so. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, guys, just look on the richness of the curry, chicken back. Mm -hmm. It's so lovely it looks, guys. I did not even reach nowhere yet. It has not reached anywhere yet, guys. I'm looking at it. All right, so I'm going to now show the water that I had in the CM bowl here. I throw the water in it and then just give it a shake. Then I'm going to, to rinse out what's in the bottom of the bowl. Then I'm going to pour it in here, like so. Now I'm not going to add no more water to it, right? If you know, chicken back spring water. Right, so I'm not gonna add no more water to it. However, I'm just gonna give it a stir, like so. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. All right, so see that? So I'm gonna cover the pot and allow it to continue. Up. So just keep on tuning. Are you sure things get done here in my kitchen? I'm gonna, up, I'm gonna give up a check on the pot and see what's going on. Mm -mm. That is, if you could smell the aroma that is coming from the pot, it just smells so delicious. Mm. Look at the color, it's rich. Eh? Yeah, tell them. All right, so I already went ahead and uh, put up my vegetables and that's some ash potato and carrots. I'm gonna Add them now within the pot here. Then I'm going to use a spoon just to scatter them within the pot, all right? Okay, you don't know how too much are they, are they vegetable in one area. So you just scatter them like so. I mean, then I'm going to cover the pot and allow them to continue to cook. So let's keep on chewing it. Check on the pot now. Mmm. Jesus. 
Can you smell the aroma, guys? The aroma is kicking. All right, so I'm going to um, add the rest of the season now. Right, and then I'm going to scatter it. All right, so what I have here in the... Uh, what, what, what I had in the bowl was some onion, scallion, you know, um, pepper. Yeah, because I don't know me. I have pepper already in the but I like pepper, you know what I mean? Well, apparently the pepper that I used before, it was not spicy, you know what I mean? So I have to go ahead and add another pepper to it. Right, and furthermore, I like my peppers with the seeds intact. All right, so just keep on tuning, you know what I mean? Yeah, it done work already. And the Friday evening settings, you know, see? Now, while I like the arm, um, the, the curry chicken back, I go on bubble, seen. What I'm gonna do next is to attend to the right, so let's keep on tuning. Now, here is, the, no, the water's not boiling, so what I'm gonna do now is to add some salt to it, right? I'm gonna add approximately one, well, one teaspoon of salt, right? Mm hmm That's one teaspoon of salt. Then I'm gonna remove your cover and I'm gonna add the rice to it. The rice was already picked and washed. You know what I mean? I don't know how some people do it, but my rice has to be picked and then wash, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, for real. Now, guys, I've seen, I've taken my own two eyes, I don't know if rice come wash, but I've taken my two own eyes and see, a chef, I'm talking about a chef, you know, guys, a chef that, that was cooking rice, that chef did not wash the rice. The chef just threw the rice, from the bag into the pot. Can you imagine? No, as we said before, don't get me wrong. I don't know if rice come pre-wash, right? Which is it's good enough, but I'm not sure. So I'm just saying what I saw, and I was really amazed because you see, it not really matter to me, no guy. You see, any rice I'm get is it a brown rice, jasmine rice, or the same local rice? I wash them all, you know what I mean? Straight, so I don't know. You know what I mean? I really don't know. So I'm gonna give it a stone now, you know? Just to avoid it from sticking to the pot. Mm -hmm. So after I give it a stone, I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, taste it. Because I'm gonna make sure I say, Tastes okay in terms of salt, right? All right, this tastes all right, so that should be it. All right, so I'm gonna cover the pot now and allow the rice to cook. Now the the, the, um, the flame is on medium heat, right? So while the rice are going bubbly now, the meat are going bubbly see me, you know what I mean? So I'll keep an eye on it and see what's going on. So let's keep on chewing it, all right? So as you can see now, it's, come, it's now coming to a boil. You know what I mean? And even though it's coming to a boil, you know, the same thing about it is that if I take my eyes from off the pot here, what can happen? The water can boil over, right? So what we're going to do is to water mark the pot like so, the cover, like this way. Now this way, right? When it boils up, it won't boil over. You feel me? But the minute we close it and leave it like so, it's going to keep boiling and boiling until it starts to froth. And when the fat, it's gonna come through this hole here. It's gonna try to come be from beneath here as well. You know what I mean? So what you wanna do is just try to water mask your pad cover like so, right? And that will allow it to not boil over. Some of the steam will come out, you know what I mean? But it's gonna continue cooking on, right? But you know, you wanna keep it that way so that means that the water won't boil over and it's stove. All right, so let's keep on tuning. That's just another tip. You know what I mean? From where? Me, the one and only, MTC. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Okay, so the, the water's not boiled down and the flame is not reduced. 
right it's on low so basically it's steaming now you know what i mean yeah man the rice are steam you know what i mean while the the curry chicken back ah i see my dog you know what i mean so i'm gonna give you a preview on that so let's keep on shooting i'm gonna give you a preview of what's going on here in the dutch pot so as you can see see there now i don't need to use a spoon and store you know what i mean hold it and shake it like so you know what i mean just hold it and shake it like this way you know what i mean that way you won't you won't break up the ice potato or the carrots you know what i mean so you don't want to use a spoon in it and store it you know what i mean because if you know me I like my tail of pepper you know what i mean yes yeah, so that's it so right now it's actually simmering down right so I'm gonna give it at least, say, uh, for instance, uh, the next five minutes. Five minutes to be exact. All right. So the rice is simmer, and this is simmering. So within the next five minutes, I'm gonna turn the flame off. So let's keep on tuning. All right. So see the guys. Curry chicken back settings to the Friday. Yeah. So they are really epic. This is gonna be delicious. Guys, I take great pleasure to share with you what I prepared in my kitchen. So please remember to thumbs up the video, leave a valuable comment, share me out, subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell and allow it to be an all that way be one of the first person to be notified. And I drop a new video. Thank you for watching.